to let you all know that our Honorable Minister, Ministry of Education, People's Republic of Bangladesh, Dr. Deepu Moni is present as chief guest of our today's program. We are also pleased to have two special guests. Jodhri Abdullah Al Mamun, BPM, PPM, Additional ICP, Bangladesh Police, CID Dhaka, and also Dr. MD Ehtishamul Hak Jodhri, Secretary General BMA, as chief guest and special guest to today's program. We also have Professor M. Muzaharul Hawk, IOM, Chairman, 30th Inbox Congress 2019, Dhaka, Bangladesh. Among us, Dr. Dizaza Surya Atmatsa, President Inbox, is also making today's program delightful by his presence. We also have Secretary General of Inbox, Dr. Jahari Bin Nur, among us. And Last but not the least, Professor Dr. A. M. Selim Reza, President Congress Organizing Committee, 30th Infants Congress 2019, is also present with us. Now, I am requesting our Honorable Associate Professor Dr. Sohail Mahmood, Secretary General, 30th Infants Congress, Dhaka, to bring all of our Honorable Guests on the stage. Now, it's time to receive our guests by flowers. For this, I would like to invite Dr. Fidosi Rahman, Dr. Fahmida Hawk, Dr. Farhana Yasmin, Dr. Farha Sultana, Dr. Tarana, Dr. Devika, Dr. Tastumpa, and Dr. Kursia to receive our guests with flowers. They all are postgraduate students of forensic medicine. Organizing Committee 13th Inbox Congress 2019, Dhaka, Bangladesh, to give his welcome speech. Honorable Chief Guest, <coughs> Dr. Deep Dumoni, the Education Minister of People's Republic of Bangladesh, and Honorable Special Guest, Dr. Ethish Amalak Chaudhary. Secretary General of Bangladesh Medical Association and Honorable Special Guest, uh, the Chief of CID, Police Bangladesh, Chaudhary Mahonal, um, BPM, BPM, and Honorable Congress Chairman, Professor Muzar Lak and the current president of IMPAS, Dr. D. Jaja Surya Atmaza, and Secretary General of IMPAS, Dr. Dato Zahari Noor, and distinguished participants from home and abroad. It's a privilege for me to welcome you to Dhaka in 13th IMPAS Congress 2019. The theme of the Congress is Justice for Law, Medicine and Science. The Congress is bringing us an opportunity to share and exchange our knowledge and experience with the advancement in forensic and other related branches of science and their application. I must congratulate the organizing committee members, the coordinators, 
the volunteers who put all their efforts to make this event, international event, really eventful. The other subcommittee members and their uh, subcommittee members who are involved in social, cultural and other programs to make this Congress memorable. Please enjoy the Congress and its event. I wish you a very exciting stay in Dhaka. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Now, I would like to invite Dr. K. M. Mahmoudi Bapri, lecturer at Shubhit Suradi Medical College, to recite the Holy Quran. A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Ya of appropriate justice. He will amend for you your deeds and forgive you your sins and whoever obeys Allah and his messenger has certainly attained a great attainment. Thank you. Thank you. Now I will invite Dr. Mahmoudi it's time to recite from Bhagavad Gita. I would like to invite Professor Dr. Kamada Prashad Shaha, Director of Fulpur Medical College. Jada Jada Ahit Harmosho Blani Dhabhavati Bharato Apadhanam Dharmosho Tadatmanam Sriyam Maham Maritanayo Shadunam Vinashaya Shadushkitam Dharmosha Sthapanar Thayo Shambhavami Juge Juge Onubad जापनी जापनी पृथ्वी ते आधार में अभिभाव है एवं धार में प्लानी तोड़ी है ताकनी आमी शादी देर परितन कार्य जुन्नो एवं धार में के शास्त्र पर कार्य जुन्नो ए पृथ्वी ते आगवान कोडी ओम शांति ओम शांति ओम शांति पृथ्वी जागतेर शकुल प्लानी शकुल मनुष्य मंगल हो थैंक यू I would like to invite Dr. Nirupama Talukdar, Professor of Forensic Medicine Department, Uttara Adhanik Medical College, to recite Sri Pita. Namo Dasha Bhagavato Arahto Samma Samma Dasha Buddhaam Sharanam Gachami Dhammaam Sharanam Gachami Shangam Sharanam Gachami Aham Vandhami Shabhoda Bhuhu Satchamcha Shukpancha Vinayacha Shushikhita Subhashita chaya bachayatam mangalam uttamam. Sarva vishay shushikhita hawa, shundar bakko poriveshan kada, shakal praka shilpa kama shikha kada ihaai jagate junna uttam mangal. Sabbe shakta shukita hantu jagate shakal prani shukhi ho. It's time for a thematic lecture of our today's program. It's my pleasure to invite Professor Stephen Gardner, Professor of Forensic Pathology of Monash University to deliver the lecture to all of us. Sir, the Honourable the Minister, <coughs> Dr. Dipur Modi, to the Secretary General of the Bangladesh Medical Association, Dr. Antishamul Surdri, to the head of the CID, Bangladesh <coughs> Police, Mr. Shodri Alam Maman, to the president of the Indo-Pacific Association of Law, Medicine and Science, Dr. Jaja Atmaja, and to the chairman of the 13th In Palms Congress, Professor Muzurahal Haq. And thank you also to Professor Salem Reza for the welcoming remarks. The, 
Professor Charles C. Chen died suddenly in February 2000. He died at his sister's place in New York on his way to the American Academy of Forensic Science meeting in Reno, having just attended a bioethics conference. He was just 66. On his return to Singapore, his body subsequently spent three days lying in state. I'm not sure that that's something that's in store for anyone in this room. He was a giant on the world forensic stage. He was born in 1934 in Hong Kong to Cantonese parents. His father was a professor of cultural studies and his mother a school principal. The family migrated to Singapore where he went to high school. He graduated in medicine from the University of Hong Kong in 1961. In 1963, he was involved in a very serious car accident which left his right arm very seriously weakened and as a consequence he had to revise his plans to become a surgeon. He spent time in London with Professor Francis Camps at the London Hospital and there followed no fewer, no fewer than 17 academic qualifications from the cream of the world's professional pathology and forensic medicine organisations. There were also numerous honorary fellowships from organisations such as the Royal Australian College of Physicians, the Royal College of Physicians of Edinburgh and the American College of Physicians. He quickly and with great success set about enhancing the study and practice of forensic pathology and medicine in Singapore. He was director of the Institute of Science and Forensic Medicine, which he more or less created, amalgamating the forensic sciences and medicine in the process. And by the time he retired, the Institute had a raft of accreditations, well ahead of many others internationally. He was director of that institute from 1990 until his retirement in 1997. Through the Medico Legal Society of Singapore, of which he was president at the time of his death, he organized in 1983 in Singapore the first Congress of what became the Congress of the Indo-Pacific Association of Law, Medicine and Science, in Palms. In Palms, the brainchild of Professors Chow and Salgado was conceived at this 1983 Congress and he led it as its first president from then until 1992. It was at the seventh Congress in Melbourne 18 months after his death that this memorial lecture was inaugurated. <coughs> we can have the next slide, thanks. Professor Chow's academic output was as substantial as the man himself. He was the author of 164 papers, chapters and books, was on the editorial boards of the four main international forensic journals and he became master of Singapore's Academy of Medicine. His publications tell a story. Not only many publications in the traditional fields of forensic medicine, but also newer ones, such as a book, a whole book, on how to prevent home accidents. Ten years later, another book, Preventing Home Injuries. And in the same period of time, a book on workers' compensation and another book 
on drug misuse in Singapore. Professor Chow's focus on death and injury prevention was in the vanguard of a renaissance of forensic medicine in public health. As we were discussing yesterday in one of the workshops, such prevention may be one of the highest aims of forensic medicine. Certainly, forensic medicine exists for important justice aims, but with a little extra effort, substantial contributions to public health can be made. And Professor Chow did this ahead of his time. His forensic capability was demonstrated in the investigation of mass disasters, such as the Spiros blast, a huge oil tanker explosion with 76 deaths, Singapore's largest ever industrial accident. The Singapore cable car tragedy, the Hotel New World disaster, the collapse of a six-storey building with 33 deaths, and the Silk Air Flight 185 tragedy with 104 deaths. He was proud of his role in helping to unravel the actual cause of the Spiros blast, as well as in identifying the deceased. These were in the early days of disaster victim identification guidelines. And he did this from first principles, no mean feat. I mentioned at the beginning a couple of other features I would like to comment on. We can have the next slide, thank you. He died shortly after attending a bioethics conference. He understood, he understood well that we are more effective as forensic doctors if we understand properly our ethical responsibilities. He was also a leader in adopting quality management. He obtained accreditation for his institution before almost all comparable institutions in Australia, the UK or the United States. This has formed part of the history that has stood Singapore in very good stead, maintaining as it does a high reputation internationally in forensic medicine and science. Anyone, and there are some people in this room who, will, who knew Professor Chow and knew him well, will also remember his wit and humour, which extended on occasion, such as this, to spontaneous outbursts of operatic arias and other performances at conference dinners and ceremonies. One story related by Dr. Mahada Shankar, founder, president of the Medical Legal Society of Malaysia, goes as follows. Dr. Shankar had been troubled by some spiritual visitations in his chambers. The next morning, he asked Professor Chow if he believed in ghosts. He instantly replied that ghosts ran away from him for fear of being subjected to another post-mortem examination. <laughs> for his services in Singapore, Professor Chow was awarded the Public Service Silver Medal in 1975, the Gold Medal in 79, and the Meritorious Medal in 95. These, as did his other honours, sat lightly on his shoulders. In the best traditions of medicine, he was always ready to share his knowledge and never displayed the slightest hint of intellectual arrogance. These characteristics may be related to the fact that he was indeed a devoted family man. Tragically, three years after his death, three years after his death, his son, Dr. Alexandra Chow, who was a vascular surgeon, died of SARS during the Singapore epidemic, having returned early from an overseas trip specifically to help out the hospital deal with that epidemic. We honour the memory of Professor Chow Si Cheng at this lecture 
in every opening ceremony of in palms, and rightly so. His contribution to forensic medicine and science was enormous. <clears throat> the theme of this Congress is justice through law, medicine and science. This is absolutely a noble sentiment. But in much of the world, justice is meted out through confessions. The US Innocence Project tells us that 25% of 367 people convicted of crimes that they could not have done confess to those crimes. And a third of those actually pleaded guilty to crimes they could not have committed and did not commit. We definitely need justice through law and through good medicine and science, even if there is also a confession. Forensic medicine is a tiny medical specialty. In my country, Minister, it's probably the smallest recognisable medical specialty, and I think that's true everywhere. There are about 50 forensic pathologists and a smaller number of forensic physicians in Australia, a country of some 23 million. We have a handful of full-time forensic anthropologists and a full-time forensic dentist. Yet, this <coughs> tiny number of practitioners has a disproportionate influence on our justice system. All the homicides and a significant number of the serious assaults including all sexual assaults, are seen by this small group of doctors. It's the same the world over. If forensic doctors are doing their job well, then it can be expected that over time the criminal justice system will perform better, thus strengthening the underpinnings of the rule of law, a fundamental pillar supporting a free and fair society. The importance of this reliance on such a small group of doctors is insufficiently appreciated and the forensic medicine system in most countries is underdone, under-resourced and taken too much for granted by governments. Finally, I would just like to mention one significant difference to the forensic landscape since Professor Chow's time and well represented in this Congress and that is the international dimension of what we do, and not only in the justice space. Next slide, thanks. For many, it would be a surprise to see the International Committee of the Red Cross supporting a Law, Medicine and Science Congress. But the ICRC is responsible for the Geneva Conventions, which represent the core of international humanitarian law, the law of war. These laws, amongst other things, are about the protection of victims, and amongst those victims are the dead, very many of them. The parties to the conflict have obligations in relation to the dead, many of which have a forensic character, including to identify them so that the dead person does not become a missing person and that the family can then receive news of them and their fate. The ICRC has made it an institutional objective to improve forensic capability around the world so that over time things improve in this space. Next slide, please. I can't finish without mentioning the recent death of a mentor and friend, Professor Lakshman Salgado from Sri Lanka, co-founder of InPalms with Professor Chow C. Ching. Professor Chow would love to be sharing the stage with Professor Salgado, and we will hear more of him shortly. Minister, dignitaries, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all an enjoyable Congress. The last two days have certainly met that test and have been really educational as well. 
So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much, sir, for your informative speech. I hope that will help all of us in our professional life. May I invite Professor Dr. M. Mukhar Hawk, IOM, Chairman, 13th Impulse Congress, Dhaka, to deliver his speech. Good morning, and welcome to you all. Our Honorable Chief Guest, Dr. Dipumoni, the Minister for Education in the podium, and the dignitaries, Dr. Dizaz Suriya Atmaja, the President of INPUMS, and our special guest, Dr. Ehtar Shamal Hawk, the Secretary General of BMA, and also with us is Abdullah Al-Mamun, the additional IGP Bangladesh Police. Also in the podium we, we have Dr. Dato Jahari, the Secretary General of, from Malaysia, Secretary General of INPOMS, and the organizing chairman of this Congress, Professor Selim Raja, and the uh, sorry, President and the Secretary General, Dr. Sohel Mahmoud. And the local and international delegates, participants, my dear students, ladies and gentlemen. When I speak in front of you, I see a galaxy of stars who serves justice in a different way. A doctor, a lawyer, a judge, as well as our law enforcing authorities. A combination of these four tries to ensure justice for individuals as well as for the society. And when the society is in peace, it means all these are functioning in a proper way and applying the knowledge and skill of all those professionals that I have mentioned. As you have listened to the thematic lecture by Steve, that uh, there are in countries of our region, particularly in the Pacific region, that there are shortcomings in the development of the forensic science, which includes all the departments that I have mentioned. And when we talk about the development of any country, which science actually is the, the development of which science is the indicator that that country has developed. It's first comes the war science, and the second comes the educational science. The third science comes is the forensic science, which includes criminology and other areas of this science. Now, when I'm going to mention about this uh, forensic science, it has many branches, and this science has developed in developed countries the way we could not take that speed to develop this science in our countries, many of the in the Pacific regional countries. Same the situation is Bangladesh. And when I see Dr. Dipumoni, the minister, the honorable minister, is with us, and when I see the BMA Secretary General, whom I, we can say that we own him, and he owns us, he was a forensic person sitting there, and we have our, from the police department, uh, one of the key person in the police department he is uh, additional IGP Abdullah Al Mamun. Then I feel that this is a forum where we could bring all this together. And our chief guest, many of you know that he is a lawyer too. So that is a combination of two in one. And we have with us. So what we are expecting actually, I am taking this privilege as a chairman of the Congress, but while I welcome you the, in this sunny winter of, uh, uh, in our country, the crimes and rights of violation are rampant in countries where they have, where they have resource constraints, economically poor. But Bangladesh, we don't consider is a country which is a poor country. When I 
When anybody <coughs> says poor, I say no, it is the meaning of the poor is hotobhaga. I mean unfortunate. It's not the poverty that we, we have, but the way we utilize our resources that is not judicially being utilized. When I say judicially not being utilized, our honorable minister is here, education minister. If we look into the education and training of forensic medicine or its sciences, I think this is lacking behind any of the branches of education. So that is one thing to be taken care of. So as I said, crimes and rights violation are rampant. Then we also know the crimes are preventable. Criminals can be identified. If you can identify the criminal, punish them, and the, the crimes can be detected. In that case, I think, as I said, it is preventable. Now, how to prevent that? And there, I think we have to work together. The lawyers, <laughs> the police, the forensic people, as well as those who are in justice or judiciary system, I think we have to work together to prevent crime as well as to punish the criminals. Now, what the criminals are doing nowadays? Criminals are using signs. You can't deny it. Criminals are nowadays using signs. So unless and until we strengthen ourselves with the scientific knowledge and skills, we cannot identify the crime, detect the crime, or identify the criminals. And then we cannot punish the criminals while we cannot establish a crime-free society or a society of less crimes. So that is one thing we have to bring into consideration of us. Now the medical legal society or the societies that exist in our region or in the Pacific region, I think there we need a sort of a collaboration among ourselves so that we can have a, uh, a change of, of science. When I say change of science, I think faculties and students can be exchangeable. There can be visiting faculty coming from the resourceful countries and those countries which need resources. So faculty exchange program and a student exchange program should be encouraged among the countries of Indo-Pacific and through, if possible, bilateral sorts of words or talks, discussions with country to country or even in -pons leadership can come in and support with the sort of a statistics that which country actually need what support. And the countries be uh, assigned the responsibility that what sort of faculty exchange program you need. So there should be a need assessment. And then I think we should develop a strategy of ourselves that what we need and what sort of manpower we need to develop. And we need support from the education ministry. And same, we need support from the health ministry. Same, we need from the ministry of law as well as Ministry of Home Affairs. I think these are the four ministries that they are involved in ensuring justice. So how to work together, I think we should have a sort of a standard set that this is the way that we can develop ourselves, we can work together, collaborate, and then ultimately ensure justice. So my point, which I want to uh, make here, is that Bangladesh, as it is, we are hosting the, we are actually suggesting that in future uh, in palms will be having a plan of action or st strategic action plan whoever is coming in the leadership of in palms we actually we should lead for the countries of this region that we develop some sort of a strategic action plan for the countries as well as for the or uh, this uh, in palms organization and we can see and observe that this is happening. We should monitor that also, that it's happening. So if we can do that, I think the in pumps can contribute to the countries where the resource is required from the developed countries, of course, in our region. Steve was giving a letter. His country and his university even uh, can come in and can contribute. And we have other countries also where the science has developed. With that, I thank the international delegates and the participants that you are here in Bangladesh and uh, I think you will enjoy that you will stay here and we shall try to make you stay comfortable. With that, thank you so much. Thank you everybody.
that is really inspiring. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to hear from President of Impasse. I would like to invite Dr. Jesus Surya Armazza to deliver his speech. Ladies and gentlemen, dear your honors, Dr. Dipu, Honorable Minister, uh, Minister of Education of Bangladesh, Dr. of Este Hamol Hok Chaudhry, the Secretary General of the Bangladesh Medical Association, Dr. Chaudhry Abdullah Manun, Administrator EGB Bangladesh Police CID Jaka, Your Honours, Professor Stephen Cotton, the past president of IMPAMS, Professor Prasanta Kumar Chattopadhyay, the past president of IMPAMS, Professor Henry, my friend, the past president of IMPAMS, the office bearer of IMPAMS, invited speakers, professor, colleague, and my beloved students. First of all, on behalf of office bearer of the Indo-Pacific Association of Law, Medicine and Science, IMPAMS, I would like to welcome all of you, invited speakers, chairpersons, presenters, and participant in the 13th IMPAMS Congress 2019 taking place from 9 to 13 December 2019 at KIB Dhaka under the theme of Justice Through Law, Medicine and Science. First of all, it is an opportunity I want to announce of you that Professor Salgado, the founder the one of the founder of Impulse has passed away on 29 August 2019 at Colombo, Sri Lanka after short blood illness. It been that now the founder of Impulse, Professor Chow and also Professor Salvador are no more with us. The news was shocking for us and we have a lot of great person who has devoted full life for IPAM, Forensic Society in Sri Lanka and also in the International Forensic Society. On behalf of the bearer of IPAM, we send our deepest condolence for the very family of Professor Salgado and our colleagues from Sri Lanka. Professor Salgado has given us good memories. Now we will hear some of the testimony of some of the friends of Professor Salvador. Video, please. Next. In Palms, work in, was initiated in 1983 in Singapore and inaugurated in 80, 1986 at Colombo, Sri Lanka to provide the network for the expert of law, forensic medicine, forensic science, and in Indo-Pacific area. Since 1983, 1989, till now, the foreign science has organized 12 cities around the Indo-Pacific region. The last Congress was in the 12th Impact Congress 2016, held in Denpasar Bali, Indonesia from 5th to 10th September 2016. In that Congress, the General Meeting has decided that the 13th Impulse Meeting will be in Dhaka, Bangladesh, and based on the constitution of the Impulse, Medical Society of Bangladesh and the national members of Impulse was appointed to organize the meeting. In this third 13 Impulse Congress 2019, Medical Local Society of Bangladesh and the organizing committee has been preparing the Congress for all of us. For that action on behalf of participants of this Congress, we will give our high appreciation. We hope that the 13 Impulse Congress 2019 will be success and become the best opportunity for all participants to learn to share the knowledge, expertise, experience, research in order to build the networking, synergy, collaboration, cooperation among the experts, especially those from Indo-Pacific area. 
Let us make this five days Congress reunion for the expert and the interesting journey to the field of law, medicine, and science. To all of the attendants and the accompanying person, I hope during this Congress, all of you can enjoy experiencing hospitality and unique culture of Bangladesh. I wish all of you to enjoy a successful, inspiring event and beneficial Congress. God bless us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. It's time to hear from Secretary General of Inbounds. I would like to invite Dr. Jahari B. Noor, Head of Department, Forensic Medicine, Soviet Ministry of Health in Malaysia. I would like to thank the organizer for allowing me to give a short speech on behalf of Impam. Honorable guests, Honorable Minister of Education, Dr. Dipomoni, the President of Organizing Committee of IMPAM, 15th IMPAM Congress, Prof. A.M. Salim Reza, <coughs> Chairman of IMPAM, 13th IMPAM Congress, Prof. Muzahil Haq, President IMPAM, Dr. Jaja Sun Sujira Almaja, Special guest, Mr. Chaudhry Abdullah Al Mamun. <coughs> Special guest to our doctor, Mr. Mohammed Estmas Esmahul Hook. Secretary General of BMA, Bangladesh Medical Association. And to Dr. Soy Mahmoud, the Secretary General of 13 Impam. I'm glad to be allowed to give a speech, although I'm not prepared for this speech. But I'd like to say that. Uh, the way the, 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 the 13 in, in Palm Congress is a tradition that in Palm has been going on for the past years since it's been inaugurated in Sri Lanka. And now on its 13th program of our Congress that we have held in Bangladesh for the first time. And I am sure right, the organizing committee has conducted and planned ahead this Congress to be up to be most successful and most memorable one for all of us, the participants. And I would like to say that is, with all the programs done, we hope that all of us will be very happy and glad that we have come here to attend this, uh, this program. For that matter, again, I well, wouldn't talk too much except that saying that thank you very much for the, for the uh, organizing committee of IMPAM, 13 IMPAM Congress 2019, and as well as to the government of Bangladesh for us being guests to this country. Thank you very much. I would like to invite Chaudhry Abdullah Al Mamun, BPM, PPM, additional IGP, Bangladesh Police. CID Dhaka. Honorable Minister, the Chief Guest of today's program, Honorable Minister, Minister of Education, Dr. Dipuguni, President of the Organizing Committee, Professor Dr. A.M. Salim Raja, Professor Stephen Corner, Professor of Forensic Pathology, Monash University, Australia. Professor Dr. M. Mujahar Haq, Chairman in Plum. Dr. Shuraya Atmaja, President in Plums. Dr. Muhammad Ehtishamul Haq Chaudhary, Secretary General, uh, Bangladesh Medical Association. Dr. Suhail Mahmoud, General Secretary of Organizing Committee of 13th Implants Congress, respected forensic scientists, doctors, forensic experts, lawyers, think tanks, professionals, participants from different units of Bangladesh Police, including CID, print and electronic media representatives, and ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum and very good morning. 
on, on behalf of Bangladesh Police and as uh, the representative of Criminal Investigation Department, I would like to extend my warmest welcome to you all present, especially the visiting forensic experts, scientists and participants. To this launch, uh, launching syrup program of the 13th Indo-Pacific Association of Law, Medicine and uh, Science in Plan Congress. Dear audience, crime investigation is central to providing facts, logic, and features in order to establish justice in, in the society. Justice boosts the nation's prosperity. A thorough investigation can unravel the criminal's motive, identify perpetrators, ensure justice for the victims, and Exo, exo, merit the innocence, and hence it is a crucial to employ the all available resources to boost the scopes for improving crime investigation. Our generation enjoys unprecedented technological, scientific, and financial resources, which we should use to chart our course towards proper crime investigation. Advancement in the field of science and technology, like all other aspects of our life, has made us more equipped, vigilant, and insightful. But, unfortunately, technology has also made the criminals smarter. To stay one step ahead of them, it is imperative that law enforcement agencies stay up to date and well equipped with knowledge and technological know-how. Physical evidence has the potential to play a critical role in overall investigation and resolution of criminal cases. But realization of the potential, potential depends on actions taken early at the crime scene. Development in the technology and the improvements in analysis and the interpretation of physical evidence add importance to properly documented and preserved evidence. For this, the investigators need to adopt an objective, thorough and thoughtful approach. This task is complex and sophisticated, and it calls for a concerted contribution of multiple disciplines, researchers, scientists, experts, medical practitioners, law enforcement per personnel, and all other stakeholders. And this alliance of disciplines from the exhaustive forensic science platform, this is an ongoing process based on continuous research, discussions, and communications among allies is a necessary rather than a choice. I believe that the 13th Implants Congress will provide a <coughs> similarly a common platform for scientists, medical professionals, and law enforcement to enhance cooperation through education and research. The theme, Justice Through Law, Medicine and Science, is very appropriate, contemporary, uh, in essence, pertinent to the criminal uh, investigation process. As you all know, CID is the apex and the oldest body of crime investigation in our country. As the hub of all forensic services, CID is always a bit about adopting, updating, advancing our method and practices, keeping pace with the modern world. In this aspect, the participation of CID in the Congress is a great relevance and we expect the harness of the maximum of our participation in various sessions, discussions and workshops. The CID is happy to organize tomorrow's seminar focused on ethics and tactics of investigation, forensic DNA and toxicology and narcotics. Participated by some of our brightest officers, their long seminars will, will aim at showcasing the forensic activities of CID side by side, highlighting the recent achievements, policies, and techniques in our crime investigation. 
A platform like this is not only a place for learning new things, but also offer ample opportunities for creating networks to, to face new challenges. On behalf of CID, I would like to request all participants uh, to attend the tomorrow's session organized by our officers and experts. As I have already mentioned, the perfect harmony of legal, medical and scientific community is imperative to ensure justice for the people. I firmly believe that our forensic community will be immensely benefited from this grand arrangement by gathering newer knowledge and experience to uplift the standard of forensic investigation in Bangladesh. On behalf of Bangladesh Police, I sincerely thank in plans for choosing Dhaka for this Congress. I also offer my heartiest thanks to the Implants Congress Organizing Committee for making CID Bangladesh Police a partner in this wonderful arrangement. Thank you very much for inviting me, allowing me to speak before this August gathering. Uh, I wish the Congress a great success. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Now, may I invite Dr. M.D. Ekta Shafal Hawk Chaudhuri, Secretary General, BMA. Dr. M.D. Ekta Shafal Hawk Chaudhuri. Jati Jonak Bhagavandu Sheikh Fajul Rahman. Bhagavata Sheikh Fajul Tunne Samujib. Jati Ochan Neta. Mukti Jutte, Tish Lokho Shohid, Dui Lokho Shambra Mohara Mahabun, Pondoi Agost, Ebonge Kush Agost, Nihoto Shokol Shohid Deputy Amar Sotha. Indo Pacific Association of Law, Medicine and Science, Impulse, Congress, Duhajarunish. आजके दिन अनुष्ठान में शम्मानित और प्रधान होती थी कैरिस्मेटिक मिनिस्टर मानोनियों प्रधानमंत्री और तुंतु आस्था भजन व्यक्ति गणों को जाते उनके बांग्लादेश सरकारे शिक्षा मंत्रणालय दायित्व का तो मानोनियों मंत्री डॉक्टर दीपुमोनी आजके दिन अनुष्ठान में शुभा बोते Professor Dr. A. M. Selim Reza, President Organizing Committee, Chaudhry Abdullah Al Mamoun, Askeri Onustaner, Amadir Bishi Shotiti, Additional IGP Bangladesh Police, Professor Dr. M. Mojaharul Haq, Chairman 13th Impulse, Dr. Dijaza Surya Atmaja, President Impulse, Dr. Datu Jahari, Secretary General Impulse, Dr. Suhail Mahmoud, Secretary General Organizing Committee, 13th Impulse, Amar Shamne Upobishto, Bikko Shikhok Mondoli, Pio Chikishok Bando, Scientist from Home and Abroad, Bangladesh Police, सम्मानित कर्मकर्ता बिंदु मीडिया व्यक्तिगण असलम आलैकुम शुभ सकाल फरेंसिक मेडिसिन प्लेज ए रिमार्केबल रोल इन गार्डिंग सेफ्टी अफ इंडिविजुअल एंड अल्सो एनश्योर दैट एनी एक्यूज इज नट unjustly condemned or punished. All medical legal issues must be handled very carefully and knowledgeably <coughs> so that any innocent should not suffer unnecessarily. As a great sensitivity is a task, all legal procedures should be maintained to issue a medical report. And reports should be issued promptly. I repeat, promptly. 
efficiently, carefully, and correctly. As you are an expert witness, you should maintain higher standard of technical knowledge and exercise your highest skill and expertise. This duty is permanent and overrides any obligation. You are not only engaged in law, medicine and sciences, you are leading us in the field of ethical issues of the doctor's community. Ladies and gentlemen, I am inspired after their get together A good number of scientists are here to exchange their ideas, thoughts, and views. আমি আপনাদের দলের এক সহযাত্রী ছিলাম সরকারের দায়িত্ব পালনের কারণে আমি সেই বিভাগটি আমাকে ছেড়ে দিতে হয়েছে বাট স্টিল আই এম উইথ ইউ আমি আপনাদের সাথে কাজ করতে চাই বাংলাদেশের স্বাস্থ্য ব্যবস্থা আজ একটি ঈর্ষণীয় পর্যায়ে এসে পৌঁছেছে আমরা আজ পৃথিবীর কাছে আমাদের স্বাস্থ্য ব্যবস্থা মেলে ধরার কারণে আমাদের কাজের কারণে আমাদের অ্যাক্টিভিটিজের কারণে সমাদৃত ইউনাইটেড নেশন অর্গানাইজেশনের প্রাক্তন সেক্রেটারি জেনারেল মিস্টার বানকিমুন বলেছিলেন বাংলাদেশের স্বাস্থ্য ব্যবস্থা থেকে অনেক কিছু শেখার আছে আমাদের সবচেয়ে প্রেস্টিজিয়াস জার্নেল লানসেট তার পরপর দুটি সংখ্যায় লিখেছে বাংলাদেশ কুড বি দ্য রোল মডেল অফ মেডিকেল সায়েন্স অ্যান্ড দ্য সার্ভিস ফর দ্য হিউম্যানিটি উইথ মিনিমাম এক্সপেন্ডিচার ইন দি ফিল্ড অফ মেডিকেল সায়েন্স আর ভারতের প্রখ্যাত বিজ্ঞানী অমর্ত সেন তো বলেই ফেলেছেন ভারত বাংলাদেশ থেকে অনেক বড় অনেক বিষয়ে তারা এগিয়ে কিন্তু এখনও বাংলাদেশ থেকে ভারতের অনেক কিছু শেখার আছে তার মধ্যে বিশেষ করে বাংলাদেশের প্রান্তিক পর্যায়ের স্বাস্থ্য ব্যবস্থা আর বাংলাদেশের শিক্ষা ব্যবস্থা ভারতের কাছে অনুকরণীয় বাট স্টিল উই হ্যাড সাম লিমিটেশনস এসপেশালি ইন দি ফিল্ড অফ ফরেন্সিক মেডিসিন অ্যান্ড ফরেন্সিক সায়েন্সেস প্রিয় উপস্থিতি আপনারা যারা এখানে বাংলাদেশের ফরেন্সিক মেডিসিনের লিজেন্ট শিক্ষকরা বসে আছেন সায়েন্টিস্টরা বসে আছেন তাদের কাছে আমি কয়েকটি বিষয় উপস্থাপনা করব। মাননীয় মন্ত্রী মহোদয় এখানে আছেন সরকারের অত্যন্ত প্রভাবশালী মন্ত্রী তিনি আসুন লেট আস ওয়ার্ক টুগেদার টু ডেভেলপ দি ফিল্ড অফ ফরেন্সিক সায়েন্স প্রথম এই বিষয় যেটি আমি আপনাদের দৃষ্টি আকর্ষণ করতে চাই আমাদের ফরেন্সিক সায়েন্সের একটি বিষয় আছে সেটি হল আলামত সেই আলামতটা যদি আমরা যথাযথভাবে সংরক্ষণ করতে না পারি আলামতটা যদি নষ্ট হয়ে যায় তাহলে কিন্তু জাস্টিস বিষয়টা এখানে অনেক ঝামেলায় পড়ে যায় সেই আলামতগুলো সংরক্ষণের জন্য এবং ওয়ান স্টপ সার্ভিস প্রোভাইড করার জন্য আমাদের আবশ্যিকভাবে একটা ফরেন্সিক ল্যাবের প্রয়োজন বাংলাদেশের চিকিৎসা বিজ্ঞানের এই উন্নতির সাথে একটি ফরেন্সিক ল্যাব যদি আমরা ঢাকায় প্রতিষ্ঠা না করতে পারি স্বাস্থ্য মন্ত্রণালয়ের অধীনে তাহলে কিন্তু আমরা অনেক পিছিয়ে যাব সুতরাং এটি সময়ের দাবি মাননীয় শিক্ষামন্ত্রী মহোদয় এ বিষয়ে আমাদেরকে সাহায্য করবেন বলে আমি বিশ্বাস করি আমাদের ফরেন্সিকের অনেক এক্সপার্টের অভাব আমি আজকে এখানে উপস্থিত হয়ে আমি রিয়েলি এমেজড এ গুড নাম্বার অফ ইয়াং ডক্টরস আর কামিং ইন দি ফিল্ড অফ ফরেন্সিক সায়েন্সেস আমাদের বিজ্ঞ আদালতের মহামান্য আদালতের একটি নির্দেশনা রয়েছে যে সেক্সুয়ালি অ্যাসল্টেড 
যারা আসবেন মহিলা তাদের এক্সামিনেশন একজন মহিলা চিকিৎসককেই করতে হবে এই জন্য আমি অনুরোধ করব এই ডিপার্টমেন্টে যারা আছেন মহিলা চিকিৎসকদের অ্যাট্রাক্ট করার জন্য এবং অন্যান্য চিকিৎসকদের অ্যাট্রাক্ট করার জন্য এই ফরেন্সিক সায়েন্স ডিপার্টমেন্টে কিভাবে উন্নত করা যায় কিভাবে আরও লুক্রেটিভ করা যায় সেই ব্যাপারে আপনারা চিন্তা ভাবনা করেন আমি বাংলাদেশ মেডিকেল অ্যাসোসিয়েশনের পক্ষ থেকে বলতে চাই আমি আপনাদের সাথে কাজ করব মাননীয় মন্ত্রী বহুদের কাছে সরকারের সাথে আমরা বিষয়গুলো জ্ঞান ব্যবহার করব আমাদের চিকিৎসকের সংখ্যা বাড়াতে হবে সেখানে আপনারা একটা ক্রাস প্রোগ্রাম করতে পারেন যারা আমাদেরকে ডিগ্রি প্রোভাইড করেন যে প্রতিষ্ঠানগুলো বিএসএমএমইউর সাথে আমরা কথা বলতে পারি আমরা এনেস্থেশিয়ার বিষয় যেভাবে সলভ করেছে আপনাদের বিষয়গুলো উনি আমরা কথা বলতে পারি কিভাবে সহজ পদ্ধতিতে ডাক্তারদের আকৃষ্ট করা যায় এখানে কিছু ইনসেন্টিভ দেওয়ার ব্যবস্থা করা যায় আমরা জানি বর্তমান সরকার মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রীর নির্দেশে বেসিক সাবজেক্টগুলো যারা টিচার হয়ে আসতেছে তাদেরকে একটা ইনসেন্টিভ দেওয়ার ব্যবস্থা করেছেন আমরা কেন ফরেন্সিক মেডিসিনে ইনসেন্টিভ দিতে পারি না সেখানেও ইনসেন্টিভ দিতে হবে অন্তত পক্ষে যারা সরকারি চাকুরিতে থাকবেন তাদের হানড্রেড পার্সেন্ট অফ দেয়ার বেসিক স্যালারি শুট দেয়ার ইনসেন্টিভ আমি তো সেখানে সরকারের কাছে শতকরা তাদের বেসিকের দুশো ভাগ দাবি করব সেখানে আমরা দেন দরবার করে যদি ন্যূনতম একশো ভোগ পাই সেটাও আমাদের জন্য অনেক কিছু তাহলেও আমরা অনেক চিকিৎসক সেখানে পেতে পারি আমরা বাংলাদেশের যে সকল সদর হাসপাতালগুলো রয়েছে আপনারা জানেন সেখানে অনেক বিক্রি বাসে অনেক আননেচারাল ডেথসের পোস্টমর্টমের জন্য আসে কিন্তু আমাদের সেই ডাক্তারদের আমাদের সেই ডাক্তারদের যথেষ্ট ট্রেনিং নাই সেই বিষয়ে আমি আপনাদের দৃষ্টি আকর্ষণ করতে চাই আপনারা সেন্ট্রালি পর্যায়ক্রমে অন্ত অন্ত অন্তত পক্ষে আটটি যে আমাদের পুরনো প্রাইমারি মেডিকেল কলেজগুলো রয়েছে আটটি ডিভিশনে সেই মেডিকেল কলেজগুলোতে সেই উপজেলার আর এমও এবং ইউএচএ নেপিওদের একটি বিশেষ ট্রেনিংয়ের ব্যবস্থা করতে পারেন আমাদের মেডিকেল এডুকেশন ডিপার্টমেন্ট স্বাস্থ্য অধিদপ্তরের তারা এই বিষয়ে আপনাদেরকে সাহায্য করবে আসুন এই প্রস্তাবগুলো নিয়ে আসুন আমরা একসাথে কাজ করি কাজের সাথে আমাদের যেতে হবে কোথায় যেতে হবে সেই বিষয়ে আমরা কাজ করতে চাই আমাদের টক্সিকোলজি ডিপার্টমেন্ট ইস ওয়েল বিহাইন্ড অনেক পেছনে পড়ে আছেন এখানে আমাদের যে বিশেরা যে টেস্টগুলো করা হয় সেটা আরেকটা ডিপার্টমেন্ট করে তো এই যদি সব বিষয়গুলো যদি আমরা ইউনিফাইড করে একটি আমব্রেলা নিচে নিয়ে আসতে পারি জাস্টিসের ভোগান্তিও কবে প্রপার জাস্টিসও হবে আর মানুষের যে সাধারণ জনগোষ্ঠীর যে একটা ইমপ্রেশন সেই ইমপ্রেশনটাও আমরা ভালো করতে পারব তবে একটা জিনিস আমি আপনাদেরকে প্রথমেই বলেছিলাম প্লিজ মাই আর্ন এট সাবমিশন টু ইউ ইউর মেডিকেল রিপোর্ট শুড বি ইস্যুড প্রমপ্টলি এফিসিয়েন্টলি কেয়ারফুলি অ্যান্ড কারেক্টলি আর আমাদের যারা ভিক্টিম আসে আমাদের কাছে তাদেরকে হ্যান্ডলিং করতে হবে অত্যন্ত মানবিকভাবে হ্যান্ডলিং করতে হবে ওই জায়গাটা আমাদেরকে অ্যাড্রেস করতে হবে আমরা জানি আপনাদের কাজের অনেক লোড প্রপরশনেটলি আপনাদের চিকিৎসকদের বা এক্সপার্টের সংখ্যা অনেক কম তারপরেও আমাদের সেই সীমাবদ্ধতা কাটিয়ে আমরা যারা ভিক্টিম যারা আসবে তাদেরকে যেন আমরা অত্যন্ত সহানুভূতিশীল আচরণ করি আমাদের কর্মক্ষেত্রে নিরাপত্তা চিকিৎসকদের দীর্ঘ দিনের দাবি আপনারা শুনে খুশি হবেন সদস্য সরকার মাননীয় প্রধানমন্ত্রীর নির্দেশে আমাদের সেই বিষয়টি সুরাহা হতে যাচ্ছে একটা ড্রাফট ক্যাবিনেট ডিভিশনে পাঠানো হয়েছিল আপনাদের জাতীয় সংগঠন বাংলাদেশ মেডিকেল অ্যাসোসিয়েশনের পক্ষে আমরা সেখানে কাজ করেছি আপনাদের সম্মান এবং আপনাদের মান মর্যাদা রক্ষার জন্য এবং কর্মক্ষেত্রে নিরাপত্তার জন্য সেই ড্রাফটে অনেক বিষয় রয়েছে ক্যাবিনেট ডিভিশন কিছু অবজারভেশন দিয়ে সেগুলো আবার ফেরত পাঠিয়েছে আমরা আগামী ত্রিশে ডিসেম্বর মন্ত্রণালয় বিষয়টি নিয়ে আবারও বসব এবং আমি নিশ্চিত আগামী বছরের প্রথম অধিবেশন অথবা দ্বিতীয় অধিবেশনে আপনারা একটি আইন পেতে যাবেন সেই আইনটি হবে চিকিৎসকদের কর্মক্ষেত্রে নিরাপত্তার আইন আমি আপনাদেরকে আশ্বস্ত করতে চাই এমন কোনো আইন প্রধানমন্ত্রী শেখ হাসিনার সরকার করবে না এমন কোনো আইনের 
আমরা সম্মতি জ্ঞাপন করব না যে আইন চিকিৎসকদের নিগৃহীত করে এমন একটি আইন সদস্য সরকার আমাদেরকে উপহার দিবেন যে আইনের মাধ্যমে আমরা আমাদের সম্মান আমাদের নিরাপত্তা আমরা ধরে রাখতে পারব তবে আরেকটি বিষয় আপনাদের মনোযোগ আকর্ষণ করতে চাই যে আমরা আমাদের সততা ও একাগ্রতা দিয়ে আমাদের সম্মান এবং নিরাপত্তার বিষয়ে কাজ করতে হবে প্রিয় চিকিৎসক বৃন্দ মাননীয় প্রধান অতিথির একটু তারা আছে তিনি আরেকটি প্রোগ্রামে যাবেন শি ইজ ভেরি কাইন্ড তিনি তার সেই প্রোগ্রামটা ডিলে করে আপনাদের অনুষ্ঠানে এসেছেন তার উপস্থিতি এই অনুষ্ঠানকে অনেক আলোকিত করেছে ইন দি প্রেজেন্স অফ দি এক্সপার্টিস ফ্রম ডিফারেন্ট পার্ট অফ দি ওয়ার্ল্ড তাদের উপস্থিতিও আপনাদেরকে অনেক আলোকিত করেছে আমি এই কংগ্রেসের সফলতা কামনা করছি আই এম শিওর ইন্টারেকশন বিটুইন দি ফরেন অ্যান্ড লোকাল এক্সপার্টস উইল রিজলভ মেনি ইস্যুজ সো দ্যাট উই ক্যান সার্ভ বেটার ইন দি ফিল্ড অফ ল মেডিসিন অ্যান্ড সায়েন্স অফ কোর্স উইথ ইন আওয়ার লিমিটেশনস অ্যান্ড ইন নিয়ার ফিউচার উইল কাম আপ উইথ মোর ইনোভেটিভস আইডিয়াস so that distressed people can get better service from us. I thank our foreign delegates for their long way journey to Bangladesh. I'm sure you will enjoy our food and our culture. Aptara shakulay bhalo thakun, mahan sishti karta, aptara de shambhantu karun, joy bangla, joy bangla. Thank you so much, sir, for your motivating speech. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the time that we all are waiting for. It's the time to hear from our honorable chief guest. <laughs> 